uh, is the Package Explorer. So if you look here, uh, we used to have um, a, a navigator, and this is actually more like the Package Explorer that comes with the JDT. So if you use Eclipse and use the JDT, this should be very familiar. It shows you a package view of all of your uh, MSML and ActionScript uh, classes that you have uh, in your project. Uh, so you can go in here, and, uh, you can either so show it in a flat view or in a hierarchical view. I have it um, this way for now. Um, and you can look down into each of your classes. You can actually see an outline view of the members and, and um, uh, methods that you have in that class. Uh, and even cooler than that, how many times do you go back into the project properties just to see what libraries you have on your, on your lib path? Well, now you can see it all right here. So if I just open up the Flex 4 folder here, you can see all of my SWIFs, and I can even dive down into the, each of the SWIFs and in, investigate everything that's in that SWIF, including the classes and members and methods of the <laughs> Uh, I can say, uh, if you, sorry, if you look at my, my code, I have a for loop down here. 
Um, and I don't want to just step and step and step until my, uh, my for loop gets to the, the point that I want. Uh, I actually now have a new expression evaluator, new feature, uh, that lets me say, I only want to stop when some particular element within my loop has the value of this string. And so I can enable this condition, uh, and then when I click OK, if I continue, um, it'll stop on when i equals 3, which happens to be when new node sub i dot id is SDK framework. So that makes it a lot easier when you have those really dense loops to just stop whenever you see the value that you're looking for. That's feature number one. Catalyst and then imported it into Flex Builder so that I could connect up to a web service. It's the Zenfolio web service, and, and one of the things that's really helpful is having the network monitor. So now I can see exactly what. Uh, um, of course, I didn't hear. Um, so now I can see exactly what's happening when I when I uh, run my application in terms of uh, the network calls. Is that your RGB graphic? Uh, not yet. <coughs> Um, uh, and then start developing your application depending on what data you have. That is the 